Hello everyone. I, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am Bhagyashri and this is a course on immunoglobulin structure and function. So we are continuing with the lesson. Today we are going to learn about the immunoglobulin domain. So structure of the immunoglobulin, it is determined by primary, secondary and tertiary st structure of the protein. And primary structure that is amino acid sequence, it accounts for the variable and constant region of the heavy and light chain. Secondary structure it is formed by folding of the extended polypeptide chain back and forth upon itself into an anti-parallel beta pleated sheet and the chains are then folded into a tertiary structure of compact globular domains which are connected to neighboring domains by continuations of polypeptide chain that lie outside the beta pleated sheets. So there are primary, secondary and tertiary structure, three types of structure. Then the globular domains of adjacent heavy and light polypeptide chain and interact with the quaternary structure which forms the functional domains and what it does it enables the molecule to specifically bind antigen and at the same time it performs a number of other biological effector functions. So both light and heavy chains are made up of repeating segments each about 110 amino acids long and each containing one intrachain disulfide bond. So these repeating segments for independent, they fold independently to form compact functional units which is called as immunoglobulin domains. So the repeating segments which fold independently to form compact functional units are called as immunoglobulin domains. Then the light chain it consists of one variable and one constant region. Heavy chain it consists of one variable and three of or four constant domains. Most heavy chains have three constant domains but those of IgM and E antibodies have got four constant domains. So the light variable and light constant domains of light chain pair with the variable and first constant domain of heavy chain to form the antigen binding region. And the Y delta and heavy chains contain an extended peptide sequence between constant heavy one and CH2 domains that has no homology with other domains. Then the region is called as hinge region because it is rich in proline and cysteine residues and is flexible giving the IgGDA flexibility between the two fab arms of the Y-shaped antibody molecule. Now the hinge region varies in length from 10 to more than 60 amino acid residues in different isotypes and the immunoglobulin can be expressed either as secreted immunoglobulin or as a membrane bound immunoglobulin. Now the secreted immunoglobulin has a hydrophilic which is water loving amino acid sequence at the carboxy terminal end and the membrane bound immunoglobulin carboxy terminal domain contains three regions which are extracellular hydrophobic spacer sequence, hydrophobic transmembrane sequence and a short cytoplasmic tail. So this is it for today. Stay tuned for more lessons to come. Thank you for watching.